In part four of this webinar, um, we're going to be reviewing Fortinet's anti-phishing solution and how Fortinet is able to protect your organization. We will be reviewing platform type requirements to implement security measures such as 40 sandbox, content disarm reconstruction, virus outbreak protection, uh, business email compromise, user training, and other considerations. One important facet to consider with Fortimail is the power of telemetry between other Fortinet products, uh, which is referred to as the security fabric. Um, you'll hear me reference this uh, periodically throughout. So here you see the Fortimail web console where you are provided uh, a quick summary of various statistics as it relates to your email platform. Fortimail is one of the more unique solutions that is available uh, on a platform level as it's as you can have it as an appliance, a virtual machine, or even as a SaaS or software as a service uh, solution. There's uh, no requirements uh, to implement and it is available for all email platforms. Moving into security measures here, 40 Sandbox is Fortinet's zero day threat protection that provides AI based sandboxing to help combat previously unknown threats. Uh, 40 Sandbox utilizes two machine learning modules uh, and, excuse me, models with static and dynamic analysis of suspicious objects. Uh, one consideration here is that this is offered independently as an appliance a virtual machine or a SaaS offering. It is not directly built into Fortinet. It's more of its own independent uh, centralized solution. Regardless of the platform selection, however, it still delivers the same rapid detection and automated response uh, and provides this information back to the security fabric. Moving into virus outbreak protection, uh, which you may have noticed earlier can be configured with the 40 sandbox. Uh, this uh, policy closes the gap uh, between antivirus updates and sandboxing. Uh, detect and stop malware threats discovered between signature updates before they can spread out through an organization. Uh, this service initiates a real-time lookup to Fortinet's global uh, threat intelligence database, um, ensuring that you will always have the uh, very latest in malware protection. In addition to this, you see the granularity and control available to you to really fine tune this to your organization's needs. Looking at content disarm and reconstruction, uh, we strip all active content from files uh, in real time uh, and create a flat sanitized file. Um, all active content is treated as suspect and removed accordingly. Content disarm and reconstruction also uh, processes all incoming files, deconstructs them, and then removes all elements that do not match uh, your firewall policy if you have a uh, uh, Fortinet firewall. Uh, content disarm and reconstruction uh, can fortify your zero day file protection strategy, um, which by proactively removing any possibility of malicious content in your files. With business email compromise, uh, this is Fortimail's solution to protect uh, against email impersonation by mapping high value target display names with correct email addresses. Uh, one key distinguisher here, however, between some of the other solutions out there is uh, there's are, there are two types of mappings. Um, you are provided the ability to manually enter this mapping or configure dynamic mapping, which is where Fortimail uh, service you know can automatically learn uh, the mappings in addition to this you can use uh, these two types of mappings in tandem and have a combination of both similarly to other solutions we have a uh, URI click protection um, this is uh, where URLs are rewritten in email messages and the URL will be directed to the Fortimail device excuse me, FortiMail device for additional FortiGuard filtering. This can, can be configured to work in tandem with your 40 sandbox for additional inspection. Moving into user training, um, it's not as strong of a focal point with the Fortinet suite. 
while they do have a really in-depth training program available through their network security expert program, it is designed for technical professionals. Um, with that being said, you are, I, you are able to create a customizable disclaimer or replacement message to generally warn recipients of contents and emails, uh, but these can become stale and repetitive and disregarded when users are oversaturated. Now, while one could argue that FortiMail solution is comprehensive enough to eliminate the need altogether, it is one facet of security uh, to consider as it is ultimately your last layer of defense against phishing and unknown malware. Um, if one was to consider, uh, you know, Fortinet uh, products, I would be inclined to complement it with a solution such as No Before. So in terms of integrations with Fortinet, we have Fortinet's uh, own suite of products such as FortiGate, FortiWeb, FortiADC, FortiProxy, um, FortiClient. Um, which goes back to that security fabric, uh, but then you also have uh, third party solutions that are fabric ready, such as Atar Labs, uh, Azure, Nutanix. Um, and these all help organizations adopt a proactive approach to security by sharing indicators of compromise or IOCs, uh, again, across that seamless security fabric. While there are not meant as many third party solutions directly with Fortimail, uh, they do have an extensive list of partners that would encourage you to check out when considering Fortinet's ecosystem as a solution. In addition to this, um, there are some other considerations here would be that the Fortimail does support LDAP or lightweight directory access protocol and single sign-on, uh, which seamlessly allows end users into their personal user portal. And with that, we have finished reviewing Fortimail on a high level as it pertains uh, to phishing. To recap, we reviewed the platform types requirements to implement security measures such as 40 sandbox, uh, content disarm reconstruction, virus outbreak protection, business email compromise, um, URI as well, or uh, URL rewriting, um, user training, and then uh, some other considerations um, and integrations with other services. Uh, some advantages here, I, you know, I think with Fortimail is really the telemetry with Fortinet's suite of products uh, that provides endpoint and device protection, uh, application security, network security, and then sharing that information, that threat intelligence um, to really enhance the overall threat awareness and broaden threat response. In addition to this, they are one of the more unique when it comes to the various platforms that are available for it. Um, again, as a SaaS solution, appliance, or virtual machine. Or virtual machine. <clears throat> uh, and then just the sheer granularity when it comes to their policies. Um, and then again, too, uh, one other, or lastly here, would be you know, user portals, um, which is similar to other solutions. Some improvements that could be made, however, uh, would just be you know, email continuity, uh, user training, and just overall ease of use for new technical administrators. And with that, please bear in mind that these solutions were heavily focused on how they apply to phishing, and they don't uh, all encompass, uh, excuse me, they all encompass a plethora of features that were not discussed. Um, here we will find a brief high-level overview of the discussion points and a side-by-side -side analysis. Uh, between, again, Mimecast, Office 365, and Fortinet. 